is Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp, willing to return for Pirates of the Caribbean 6. A new Pirates of the Caribbean film has been sighted in the horizon, so settle down on the sea. This family film series is well-liked. The films, which are based on the same name Disneyland attraction, have had a significant influence on the film business for the past 18 years. Since Curse of the Black Pearl, the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, came out in 2003, audiences all over the world have become enamored with the scruffy and hilarious salty dog characters who have taken both our hearts and each other's treasure. Given the changes made to the production and the online rumors, it can be difficult to wade through the flood of false information while searching for a shred of reality. To create this map and help you discover everything there is to know about the yet untitled Pirates of the Caribbean 6, we combed uncharted area. Use your compass to navigate through our straightforward tutorial after pulling it out. Disney has not yet announced a date for the release of Pirates 6. However, based on the previous movie's release dates, it would most likely be in the summer of 2024. The greatest unanswered question is whether Johnny Depp will return to play Captain Jack Sparrow in a new Pirates movie. A spokesman for the Oscar nominee denied claims that the actor would accept $300 million to reprise the now iconic role in June 2022. Depp's agent stated two months earlier that his client had been fired from the Disney series after his ex-wife, Amber Heard, claimed to have endured domestic abuse in an opinion article she wrote for the Washington Post in 2018. The essay, according to the agent, cost Depp a $22.5 million payoff. The Finding Neverland actor filed a defamation lawsuit against Heard over the article and ultimately won a $10.35 million damage award. Additionally, Pirates director Jerry Bruckheimer has declared that he has no plans to recast Johnny Depp in any additional roles. If the actor had played Jack Sparrow, the sixth film would most likely have been his last, before the opus ad, though, Disney's production chief Sean Bailey had previously suggested that the sixth movie would have taken a different turn without Jack Sparrow. When questioned if the series would continue without its most well-known cast member, he answered that it needed new vigor. Even though the franchise has produced over $4.5 billion in total revenue, audience enthusiasm has started to wane. The first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, The Curse of the Black Pearl, earned more than $654 million, while the follow-up, Dead Man's Chest, did better with close to $1.1 billion in ticket sales. Even though only $960 million worth of tickets were sold for the third movie, at World's End, it still lost money compared to its predecessor. Dead Men Tell No Tales, the fifth film in the series, earned only $794 million at the box office, making it the lowest-earning entry in the series while the succeeding sequel, On Stranger Tide, made more than $1 billion. Kaya Scoldelario, who starred in the fifth film, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, asserts that she has inked a deal to appear in the sixth film even though the cast has not yet been revealed. Her character, Karina Barbasa, was first presented in the fifth film, which also revealed that she is Captain Barbasa's long-lost daughter. A fresh, younger Barbasa joining the cast might be a sign of what the upcoming film will be about. Given that Henry Turner's character is returning, we can assume that he will make a comeback as well. Henry, the son of Will and Elizabeth Turner, is portrayed by Brenton Thwaites. When his father is named captain of the fabled ship The Flying Dutchman in the third film, Johnny makes his acting debut. In the sixth film, Henry frees his father from the cursed ship, bringing the saga to a close. There have been reports that Margaret Robbie will play the lead in the upcoming film, but this has not been confirmed. She had the following response when asked about reports that she may play a role in the upcoming Pirates film, maybe. Time will tell. Favorite original movies Orlando Bloom and Kiera Knightley who played Will Turner and Elizabeth Swan in The Destined Lovers, might make a reappearance. Even while some people think their role in the story is finished, a clip from the fifth movie's conclusion hints they might return. This is true even though the emotionally linked couple's screen time decreased dramatically as the movies progressed and shifted to focus more on Jack Sparrow, the beloved pirate Lord Trickster known for his peculiar drunken gestures and seemingly unexpected presence. Disney has chosen Christina Hodson, the author of Birds of Prey, to write Pirate 6. However, things now seem to be coming together. The script's control has periodically been shaky. In 2019, it was transferred from Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick to Craig Mazin and Ted Elliott. Based on cast rumors, Disney appears to be producing a female-led Pirates movie, which has now been verified by the hiring of Hudson as a writer. Using this piece of information as a clue, fans went back to the original source to hunt for a probable plot. The original kidnapped bride being auctioned off on the theme park attraction was Red, a red-headed female pirate. But she changed and became a pirate. When the trip was changed, she stopped selling things she had stolen from the neighborhood. Even if it's possible that the sixth movie may continue Red's journey, the chance that this plot will work is uncertain given the scant details that are known. 
the film might follow the Ghostbusters or Ocean's 8 model of a reboot, but neither of these movies was very well liked. The franchise would also face some peculiar difficulties if the sequel storyline was to be completed. Dead Men Tell No Tales post credit scene featured Davy Jones. However, viewers are made aware that Jones was present as the camera zooms in to see barnacles on the floor. Will believes that Jones appears to him in a nightmare. Thus, the tentacled individual might be crucial to the sixth movie. Joachim Arending will once more helm the Mazin, Elliot film. A Sven Sandberg cooperated in the direction of the most recent Pirates movie, while he hasn't been named in connection with a sixth installment. Since they were young children, Sandberg has known the Norwegian director Arend Ning. Maleficent, Mistress of Evil, the 2019 sequel to the Disney classic, is one of his other significant films. Gore Verbinski directed the first three films in the Pirates series, and Rob Marshall handled the fourth.